reimbursement issue is getting actually more because they are less and less. Uh, I don't know if the reason was that no surgery was in the past done more often than necessary, that the proper indications are not, were not specified as they are right now where we have actually designed criteria by the American College of Mouth Surgery, American Academy of Dermatology. But generally the reimbursement rate is decreasing for many things, not just for mouth surgery. However, mouth surgery potentially if we remove the tumor, we can run up in a bigger defects that potentially require more reconstruction, longer reconstruction, and those are the problems where we uh, may not have uh, enough proper retaining surgeons to do because the reimbursement rate for a surgical material and everything else is much lower. Uh, on the other side, what I don't understand, if these patients go and have a reconstruction by then the plastic surgeon, theoretically, uh, they will the insurance will be paying for the operating room for many other expenses, which makes the expenses in thousands, thousands of dollars, which is much more than it ever used to be reimbursed for most. So I'm trying to understand how insurance is taking, because most of my plastic surgery colleagues, they take patients with skin cancer in the OR and then do everything in general anesthesia, even for a very small tumor. So that's probably something that maybe should be classified better or diagnosed or arranged better in the future.